celebrating the 10th year as director, I really wanted to have a program where all the work was new. It's important to us as a company, Houston Ballet has always been a really a leading force in creation. Uh, we've always planned a lot of our year to be new work, new adventure. And I thought this was a celebration of that. And the celebration was going to these two extremely established choreographers who have had a very long history with Houston Ballet. And then these two young choreographers who have come up through the company and had their exposure through our choreographic workshops and our schools. Um, it, it seemed like a, a wonderful way to celebrate creation. Christopher Bruce has now ended up doing an older work for us, restaging something, uh, Intimate Pages, which is actually one of the very first ballets of Christopher's I ever saw. Intimate Pages is, um, it's choreographed to Janacek's second string quartet uh, called Intimate Pages. Uh, and it's a, it was one of his last works. He died shortly afterwards. And it's about a relationship uh, uh, with a, a woman, 40 years his junior. He fell madly in love with her, was inspired by her. And it's about their time together. What I loved about the piece was it was very unlike everything I've seen of Chris's before. I think our company will do it very well. It's also very nice to have a work of Christopher's where we get to include the orchestra as well. If you listen to the music, it's full of incredible explosions of joy, but screams of pain. Very anguish, but very joyful work in many ways. James Kadelka is somebody who I've watched choreograph since I began ballet. Um, in my, around 16, 17, I saw many of James's work at San Francisco Ballet and he was very inspirational to me. And uh, he's had a lovely history here with the Houston Ballet and his creation before, so it seemed a nice uh, way of reflecting all of that. Garrett Smith has been a student here, has went, gone through our school, choreographed for HB2, had participated in our um, summer courses where we have the, the uh, collaboration with the choreographers and the composers. We'd, I've seen upwards of 10 of Garrett's pieces um, and they kept growing stronger and stronger and stronger. I really feel like he's uh, a great um, example of a product of what comes through our organisation and our, our school. <music> Melissa's work, I saw three of her pieces here that we did through choreographic workshops. Um, particularly the first piece was very strong and interesting. She choreographed it on herself um, and her boyfriend of the time and it seemed like it was uh, something that showed great potential and I really thought it was important in this program to have a balance. Houston Ballet really inspires me. Um, I know the dancers so well since I've, I was a dancer here for three years. So the, the music that um, I chose is by Gabriel Prokofiev, a string quartet and it's dark and rich and going to be dark and shadowy and spidery and um, intense, I think, that, you know, a lot of times it's, you're worried that you're not going to be liked, like, so often you just want everyone to like your work, and I think with making anything sort of interesting, you have to kind of just put that aside and be like, some people are just aren't going to like it, and I'm fine with that, because that's why I have a point of view, and that's interesting.